G'day and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do a seascape painting looking up towards Terrigal. So I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. Just turn this around. Okay, so this is what I've got here. This is my uh, board that I've gessoed. Got all my paints there set up. And what I'm looking at is the scene I'm going to paint today, folks. Is into the light looking up towards Terrigal. So down here you've got an area called Winnie Bay. I've painted there before. Then over here you've got Terrigal, that's Terrigal over there. And then it carries on and further up that way, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's Bado Bay. So anyway, that's the scene I'm going to paint today, folks. And uh, this is live, so come along and um, have a chat. And I will uh, get set up, hopefully this will take about an hour or so. And I will um, do the sky first, so we'll just pan down here pan down here and I will um, I've got a sky mixture already mixed but I will just tweak it a little bit so we've got here so the sky it's very bright today so I've already mixed um, cobalt blue cobalt blue with a bit of yellow ochre and white I'll probably go that on the horizon I guess so we'll do that on the horizon so just get up set up here okay um, okay I might um, I'm not too sure if live oh yeah chats are on just give me a sec that's no, all good okay all right so I'm gonna start the sky sorry about that just had to double check okay I'm gonna start the sky the sky is um really bright so my light is coming from up this way so I'll be having it more lighter on the right so I'll get the sky in here I've added a little bit of pure gun turbs to my uh, paint to thin it out like a house paint consistency so we'll get the sky in Weather's good today, the wind's not too bad. This scene is uh, called Captain Cook Lookout. So, let's get the sky in. Okay, so. When I say using a house paint consistency, by keeping it thin, it, it spreads so easy with the sky because I like to keep the sky soft and um, hazy and nice and thin. Okay, a bit more blue for the sky. As I go up, I will add more cobalt blue to my mix. And as I go to the right, I'll make it more lighter. So what I'll do now, is I'll just pan back down here. Okay, so this is my sky colour. I want to add a bit of white, just over the side here. Tiny bit of crimson red to give it that pinky colour. And a tiny bit of yellow ochre. just to give that warmth in the sky. I'll just pan you guys back up. Okay. By adding the red, it's made the sky a lot more warmer and uh, hence how it is out there because when you have a look outside uh, with the view you can see over here it's very bright so that area is warm from the sun so we want to keep it that way and then as we head as we head up this way 
further from the sun it's more darker blue so that's what I'm looking at so we'll come back around here okay let's get this sky done Now I'm going to add, come down a bit, pan back down here. Okay, so that sky colour, I'm going to add a tiny bit cobalt blue. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Yep. This will give the good depth in the sky as well, or just those little subtle tones as you go along. What I'll do is I'll work on the left side first. Sorry about that rattling. Sounds like an old uh, train. I need a new uh, French box one day. It's very shaky. Ah, oh, that's what it is. Give me a sec. Okay, that should be better. There we go. Okay, for those who just joined, I am at Copacabana. And, one second. Okay, so I'm at Copacabana, and I'm painting this beautiful scene out here to my left, looking up towards Terrigal. And um, I'm using an MDF board in uh, oil paints and temperature's okay, it's about 20 degrees, a little bit of wind, only about 5 or 6 kilometres. Um, but yeah, perfect day for plein air painting. So if you want to drop a comment, drop a comment, we can chat because this is live. And um, I'll get painting, hopefully I'll get this done in about an hour or so. So I'll spin you guys back, there you go. Once I get the sky done, I'll be working nice and quick. Okay, that side. Spin around there. Okay, four people on board. Thank you for coming along. Are you guys from Australia or overseas? Okay, the sky's just about done. Nice and thin as I said, house paint consistency. I've used cobalt blue, tiny bit of crimson red, titanium white, and pure gum turpentine. Okay, my sky is done, nice and soft. You want, when there's a lot of light in the sky, you want your sky nice and subtle and light, not too dark. Okay. Okay, so we've got that. Ah, hello. Oh, g'day, Scott. How you going, mate? And hello from Canada. 
I just can't, it's a bit, tiny bit hard to see. I can just see. Anyway, g'day from Canada. Hello Canada. Welcome to Australia. This is about 90 minutes north of Sydney and I'm painting this beautiful scene here of Terrigal. So let's have a look what I'm looking at. So you've got up this way, well that's Wenny Bay down there and you've got Terrigal over here. That's Terrigal and then it carries on there. I think that's Bado Bay up that way. So it's a good day for painting. Let's carry on. Thanks for coming along. Thanks Scott. I hope it's not too cold over there for you mate. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'll just soften this off. I'm going to do the distant headland first. Okay, distant headland. Let's get that done. So, the distant headland will be it's very hazy. I actually when you when you have a look at it, I know it's a bit hard to see in the light for you guys. But when, yeah, it is very warm, ain't it? Actually, I feel hot already. I need a drink. I didn't bring any water. When you look at that headland, what's the colours you see? Or I see, if I was going to mix it, I would go burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, widen that down to like a grey, and I'd probably add a tiny bit of a cool red. So we'll have a look at that and see how that goes. So I just pan down here, have it nice and clear for you. Okay, so what do I say? I said um, I'm going to use my sky mix because when you use your sky mix, as you carry through the painting, and you start with the sky, but add, keep adding to the sky as you go, and that gives colour harmony. So I'm going to go burnt sienna, a little bit of crimson red, ultramarine blue. Right, that's sort of the colour I want, but what I want to do before that is make it movie colour for the very distance. A bit more blue. Yeah, because when you look past that, that view, there's a nice mauve colour. So we want to get that in. Okay, so we'll do that. It's only a little bit of mauve, but we'll do that first. So we have a look here. So when you look out past these headlands here, there's a tiny bit of mauve mountains in the distance. So I'm just going to get them down. Get that down first. Okay, so it's just behind this mountain. So I'll get that done, get that in, just quickly, it's only very faint, a very faint colour, but it's there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to soften that horizon of it, just by dabbing along the top of it. Just dab along there. Keep dabbing. There's a little bit of shape to it. There's a little bit of a mountain peak. Soft, nice and soft along the top to give depth and distance. Okay. Alright. Okay, how's that look? Yeah, okay. So. Okay, the next step was those mountains again. So yeah. These ones, we're gonna get that in. Get that in first. So back to the, the mix that I had. Here we go. Now mine is a bit too 
a bit too brown. So add a little bit of Viridian, a little bit of white. Okay, and it needs to be a little bit warmer, tiny bit of red. Yeah, there we go. Tiny bit more red, tiny bit more ultra and blue. Okay, yep. Looks good enough for me. Okay, so we get back up to here. Okay. Ah! G'day, cuz. My cousin, Rebecca. How you going, Rebecca? Yeah, I'm painting today uh, live at um, Captain Cook Lookout. Okay, so here we are, back to the painting. So I'm, I'm getting the furthest headland in. And I'm just being nice and loose about it. I'll just soften the top as I go. Okay, like that. How's that looking? Yeah, so it's got whole idea when you paint distance is you've got to create atmosphere if you don't create atmosphere the painting looks crappy hi cuz <laughs> we've got scott from canada and cousin from uh, australia okay so we carry on nice and thin doesn't matter with the distance don't have to be too fancy with it, as long as you get the colours right. Want, so the whole idea with this painting is I want it to be hazy. I want a hazy painting. So we'll try and get a hazy painting out of this. And always at the top, I just go along and I soften it. Just with the top of my brush, just soften the top. Okay, now I want to go a little bit darker around here because that distant mountain that I've got there, I want to see the discernment between the two. So we'll just pan back down here for a sec. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of ultramarine blue, a little bit of Viridian, a little bit of Ben Sienna. Yeah, it's a little bit darker okay and I want it a little bit more ultra in blue there we go yeah and tiny bit more burnt sienna okay all right let's have another look at the view so you got yeah there you see sort of a bit I don't know if you guys can see but it Something like that. So we come back around. Uh, okay, so what was the question, Scott? So what techniques can you use to create the hazy versus keeping clean and softening the edges? Or well, to keep it hazy is you want to use warm, warm colors like, um, you know, your yellow ochres, um, cool reds like alizarin crimson and basically i keep the distance nice and soft looking then as i come back towards here i go a bit more pure in color and a bit more darker so you'll see as we go along okay so we're gonna do yeah so actually what i wanted to do before i go back to that yeah sorry about that i just got a little bit sidetracked yeah, I wanted to make this one here a little bit more stronger on the edges. There we go. Just to discern a bit of distance. There we go. Okay. Okay, I've just done it. 
to separate the two mountains. Okay, so that's good. I can see the two differences. All right, now I'm going to work on this one here. So that color that I made, I'll add a tiny bit, little bit more red to it. Okay, so we get this in. Once I get this in and we look at it, we'll see if it looks right. If it doesn't look right, I just got to tweak it a bit darker or a bit lighter. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, okay, so when I'm looking at that, um, I would probably say it needs to be a little bit more darker. So, it's grey. Oh, sorry about that. It's grey, but it needs to be a touch darker, that colour. So I'm going to go a little bit more ultramarine blue. A little bit more burnt sienna. Tiny bit of iridium. A little bit of crimson red. Yeah, there we go. Tiny bit more ultramarine blue. Okay, it's a bit darker now. It's a couple of like tone differences, you know, like with tone differences, you got one and ten. So you gotta keep your tones close to each other to create that differences. Okay, let's have a go another go at it. Yeah, there we go. Because all this here will be in light. There's a little bit of a lip on that. Okay, here we go. Alright, so far the wind hasn't been too bad, which is a good thing. Thought it might be a bit windy burn up high, but it's not too bad, so that's good. Okay, quickly get this in. Normally it takes me about an hour, 80 minutes or so, to do a painting this size. So I want to keep it quick because if I work quick then it'll be nice and loose if I take if I take too long I can tend to overwork a painting I don't want to overwork it I want to keep keep the feel and the atmosphere in it and keep it a bit loose you know okay that yeah there we go when you look at the tone differences you can see that already the tones are, are um, how I wanted to achieve it Okay, so. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay, so finish this left side off. Okay. Okay, now that looks okay to me. All right, let's go back and check out the scene. Let's have a look. So I've done the sky, I've done this part here, I've done this part here, Terrigal. This part here, I'm not gonna do yet because I'm gonna get my sky done, then come back to this part. So as you can see the sky there, it's like a white yellow ochre all there and then as it comes over this way it gets a little bit more greener and blue so i'll do that part uh, that part there and then i'll come along this part here so this is where i will use another brush because i'll keep this brush for my darks and i'll switch to this brush with my water so with the water Kind of big blob like that. I'm going to go a little bit of yellow ochre. Okay, nice and thick. Okay, and a tiny bit of this colour I mixed earlier for the water to the left. Just a little bit of that. There we go, so it's white, cerulean blue, and yellow ochre. Okay, so just pan you guys back up. 
Okay. All right, we'll do here. I've got to make sure I keep my horizon line straight as well. Okay. Alright, so I might have to grab a smaller brush. Actually, I'm going to use this little round brush just for this because I don't want to bump that that middle ground that part here. Let me just go. There we go. And I'm just going to around that area okay through here okay this part down here I might just Bring it down a little bit. There's a good shape to that when you look out there. How's that looking? Yep, okay. I'll just show you guys the scene again. So basically I'm painting into the light, which is really, really tricky. And I'm, what, 27 minutes in, so I've got to get a wiggle on. So we'll come back around here. Okay. Just do this part here. As I come closer to the foreground, I will use a palette knife in some parts. Okay. Then when the as the sky or uh, the water comes down, you can see hints of blue on either side of this. So I'm gonna mix that. I've got that mix of my white. I'm gonna put that in now and I'm just gonna soften it. Just like that. Same with the other side over here. Because I'm going to go back over top and white. Okay. Alright. Alright. You see what I mean once I do it. Like this. That's what I wanted to create, that difference between, um, you can see white when you look out there and you can see blues, like these areas here, it's blue, same over here, that area there is blue but in the middle it's white because I'm looking into the light, so we'll carry on and do that. It's blue, but it's actually got a little bit of green in there too. Cobalt blue, viridian, titanium white. I 
I'm just rubbing that in because I'm going to go back over the top. Okay, so g'day, no, someone else has joined. So I'm at uh, Copacabana, painting the scene at Terrigal on this beautiful day. And uh, oh, Aria, how you going mate? Aria's from uh, America. Yeah, I'm painting this beautiful scene here, uh, Terrigal, into the light, uh, live. So look around and I'll show you what we're looking at. So this is the scene. So I've done the sky, done the headlands there, I've done that and I'm working on the water now and then I'll do this foreground part. Okay, ah, g'day Mike, how you going mate? And Tim, g'day. Oh, it's good, a few more people have come on board. I'll spin you back around. I've been painting about 30 minutes or so, so I want to get a wiggle on. So I want to keep keep it loose and I don't want to overwork areas so by working quick I can keep it loose so most of the white is in the middle here so just get that on there nice and thick I'll keep the white and I don't mind letting a little bit of the canvas shine through because underneath I've got that wash and that wash has got little bits of greys in that so when you actually have a look at it it's given a bit of depth Yeah, that's sort of coming together. Sort of getting there. Yeah, it's um, it is a great idea to do plein air, and um, <laughs> yeah, it's a party now, Scott. Yeah, that's right. I need a beer. I'm cooking in this heat. It's it's great doing plein air. The problem with Australia is our internet is crappy, and it's very hard to get good signal. So I've gone around searching for spots. So um, here and there you get the odd spot that you can um, do a, uh, a live stream. So I hope it's um, coming in nice and clear. Okay. Yeah, so it's evening over there for you guys, ain't it? In um, America and um, Canada, it's evening, ain't it? Okay. I'm just going to use this little zero brush just to get this in. Right here. There is actually a tiny bit of sand along here. Right there, one sec. It's a tiny, you can see a faint bit of sand along here. Just a tiny bit of sand. Just a hint. Okay. And it sort of just fades away. Yeah, something like that, but my, uh, just got to straighten that up. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Okay, back to the water. So let's have a look at the water again. Into the light, eh? Going blind from this. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's all white there. Tiny bit of yellow ochre, tiny bit of uh, crimson red I used. Most of it's titanium white. And then you've got the blues on, on either, either side. So that's what I'm doing now. Let's quickly scrub that in. G'day mate. Get that in.
in the middle, pure white. That will give a bit of depth. Actually, the white, pure white comes right down the guts of it. Okay, how's that coming along? Yeah, mate. Okay, how are you guys traveling? Is you all right? Go get yourself a beer, come back. <laughs> ah, Vincent. How you going, Vincent? How you going, mate? Okay. So, good day all. Thanks for popping in and out. It's okay. If you come and go, you can watch the replay later anyway. You know, live, can't edit it and all that. So, um, how it is is uh, how it is. So, I'll show you. This is the scene. So this area up here, all the Sydney people come up here for holidays. It's a popular area, like around Terrigal. So yeah, it's a nice spot to come and um, spend a week or something. And they stay in a fancy motel and all that along here. And um, down here is Winnie Bay. And I'm pretty sure up that way is like Baddo Bay or uh, Nora Head most probably up that way. So um, yeah, back to the painting. Okay, so carry on the water, eh? Down here I'm going to put rocks and all that, so I just won't complete the water there. Just soften it off. Oh, bit of pain on myself. Okay, I will go back over the things, but only a little bit. Okay, work on this area down here. I'm going to thin that out a bit. Just going to thin it. I added um, pure gum turpentine. To my paint because I'm going to come back over this with like a white shimmer and over this side too just little bits okay get in there that way we sort of know what we're looking at Okay, I'm just going to take a step back and have a look at that. Yeah. Coming slowly together, coming slowly together. Okay. Alright, so the water, I'll do a little bit more here. So I'm just going to dip into me titanium white big chunk of that titanium white it's warmer yellow ochre a little bit of crimson red that nice warm color straight on my brush nice and thick okay all right so as the now the sun's directly above when I started the sun was here the sun's about here now so under there Basically, the painting's into the light. You could probably call it into the light, terrible. Okay. How's that looking? 
Yeah. Get in there. Thanks, Vincent. Cheers, mate. Yeah, I will I will go over with the pallet knife in the foreground. Just give me a sec. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to double check it as I go along. Oh, actually, one thing I have to do is just fix this up a little bit. Okay, yeah, I'm going to work on this area here. Okay, so let's just pan you guys down. Is it nice and clear, the reception? Not broken up? Just, um, hopefully it's all, it's all good. Okay, this, so I'm using Ultra and Blue. Burnt Sienna, because I'll show you guys, just pan up here, this area here I'm doing now, this area. So you've got light and you've got dark, and it's like the colours I can see is like yellow ochre, yellow ochre, viridian, white, ultramarine blue. So I'll mix that sort of together and we'll see. Good day. Good, thank you. Thanks. May I take a photo? Yeah, there, no worries. All good. Thank you. No worries. What's your name? Uh, Pez Dower. Yeah, I'm live on YouTube. Okay, yeah. cool. No worries, cheers. Okay, so, we'll just go, so what I'll say, burnt sienna, ultra and blue, little bit of viridian. Yeah, that's sort of the color. And a little bit of crimson red because I want to keep that theme warm. There we go. And I'll add a tiny bit of white. Yeah. And a little bit more burnt sienna. Yeah. I think that, that's good enough. So, yeah. No problems. Oh, good, good. Good reception. Good. Yeah, 30 by 60. Mike, yeah. Okay. All right, I'll do this, this area here. So, sort of goes, there's some nice rocks down there. I'll tell you what, if I can nail this. What I'll do is I'll come back to that. I'll get this part in first. I'll get the main shape in and then I can just tweak it. This will be lighter, of course. Just this part here is in shade. So I'll use this paint for the shade. Comes all the way dark down there and this part will be lighter. So I won't paint that there with this colour. Okay, so back to back to this part here. There is a little bit of a shadow down there too, down here, just a little bit. Yeah, okay. Get some of these rocks in. If you look at the subject, I'll show you. Hopefully you guys can see it. But you look down here, there's some rocks in silhouette in that. So we'll um, get that in. I'm just using a size 10 flat brush.
Let me just step back and check that out. What I'll do, go over to the, um, this zero brush that I've got here. Little round zero brush. And I'm just going to do a little bit of detail just here. Gonna make this colour up again. Burnt sienna, ultramarine blue. There's some rocks that come along like that. I'm just going to go back over this with light. So I'll just see how that's looking. Okay. Just a little bit more. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the palette knife. Just going to play around with it and then have a look at it. Let me just check that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave that part. I'm going to carry on here. Okay, what I'm going to do now, just scroll down here. I'm going to mix the mountain colour. So to this here, I'll go Viridian, yellow ochre. Titanium white. Burnt sienna. Let's have a look at that. Just let me check it. Colour. Let's have a look. Yeah, I need to have it a little bit more yellow ochre and a little bit more white. Actually, I add a little bit of cad yellow, a little bit more white. Tiny bit more burnt sienna. Okay, I think that's close. Alright. Yeah, I'm close to the mark. Okay. Now we come back around here. All right.
Just do here. Do the top first. The thing with this is, is I want to keep this clean. I don't want to overwork this part. Nice and clean. And then this part here I can soften a little bit because the two tone colours come together. And there's another the other, all this would be green as well, but that would be a lighter green. And that would be going up that way, so I'll just leave that like that. Okay, now all this is in like a mid-tone, this area here. So I'm just going to, with that same brush, just soften a little bit in between. Okay, I'll just have a look at that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking it. I just got a, the brush strokes. Hey, g'day, Raymond. How are you, mate? How are you being? Good? These brush strokes, I've got to just break it up a bit so you don't just see lines that's it okay and then the top which is in light so make sure the top is all lit because that's where the sun is at the top okay yeah this area here has a little bit of sandstone I'm going to use the same brush, just pan down, and I'm going to add a little bit of burnt sienna, and yellow ochre, I've got a little bit there, and plus the green that I've got, and just a tiny bit of white, that colour there. I don't want it to stand out too much, but there is a sandstone, if you guys can see or not, I'm not too sure, but... Like down here, there's a sandstone wall. So I'm going to just put a tiny bit of that colour there. Not too white. Just a little bit. Just soften that off a little bit. Okay. Yeah. A little bit more. So, Got to make sure we get the shapes right. Okay. Okay. All right. We're on the home stretch now. We're going all right. Thanks, Vincent. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Okay, what I'm going to do now is quickly get this area done here. And then we'll carry on with the rocks and that. And then we're nearly done. So we're on the home stretch. So this area here, more Viridian. More Burnt Sienna, because it's a darker green. Tiny bit of Crimson Red. Bit of burnt, uh, Ultramarine Blue. A little bit more Viridian. And a little bit of Cad Yellow. Tiny bit of white because it's in the sun. Now there I've gone a little bit too light, so I'll add a little bit more 
Viridian, a little bit more cad yellow. We want it greener. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at that. Ah, oh, g'day, someone from uh, Thailand, is it? G'day, Bali. Okay. Yeah, that colour there. I'll probably just add a tiny bit more cad yellow. Okay. Just thick and simple. No, like, when you look down, you see trees. Trees are green. I could do a little bit of discerning shapes here. Just a little bit, but just go along like that. Okay. That's coming along. There's some um, people that are pulling weeds out. That's that noise you can hear. They're um, bush regeneration people. That's if you can hear grass and that getting moved around. But um, they haven't been too bad. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. Okay. Right, get on. Hang on. Hi. Hang on. Okay, let's have a look. Just let me step back. Slowly, so, I still got to work on this rock area and then put some more shimmer on the water. But I'll just pan you guys and show you. So I've done, not putting the rail and all that in, I've just along there a hint of trees, not these trees, past that there's some trees, grass along the bottom there, trees along the bottom. So I've done that part, and then what I'm going to do now is those rocks, this area here. I want to, because that's sort of part of the focal point, I want to bring that alive a bit. Thanks, Mike. Okay, so. Just add a little bit more. See this part here, because that's closer, I want that a bit more warmer. So I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow ochre. Oh, I use Art Spectrum, which is a Aussie brand, yellow ochre. I'm gonna add that. To that green mix color I got there just a tiny bit that's probably a bit too much just move that aside just a tiny bit okay because when you look out to the distance the first color that disappears is yellow then you see greens then you start to see mauves and all that so this color here I'm just going to put there because how the eyes work is that's how we see things the yellow color we see first and then it goes away so this corner here I'm putting just a little bit over the top of that darker yellowy green just on this corner just a little bit Okay, all right, we're going to do this part here now. All right. Okay. 
using the pallet knife just going to play around with this a little bit Just to give the impression of some rocks. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, come together slowly, slowly but surely. Okay, I'm just gonna Let's have a look at that. Yeah. Yeah. What I need to do is just do. Oops, sorry. A few more rocks. Not too many. So we'll just get that in and we'll wrap it up. Just this area here. There's some ledges and rock ledges there. You want to create movement with the ocean, if you can. Let me have a look at that. Okay. Okay, just do a little bit more. There's the odd, the odd rock just out a little bit. Okay, I'll just have a look at that. Yeah. Okay, spin you got. Okay, I'm just going to finish off now with the white. Okay, I've got um, thick on my brush, titanium white with yellow ochre, just a little bit. Yeah, you can see difference in those colors thanks for coming along guys anyway it was great to um have a chat and um tell me what you think in the comments later if you watch it again or if you enjoyed i know it can be a little bit boring watching live painting because you know it takes a while and that's why when an edited version goes along super quick, you can pick and choose what you want to watch. 
that with live you can't it just goes forever but um you can always come back but thanks for um being patient with me anyway and um yeah much appreciated Okay, and then a little bit over here. So let me check that. Okay, a look. Okay, I think I'm going to end it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll show you the scene again. So there's the painting. And there's the view. So I'll just back up a bit. Okay, I'm going to um, end it here. Thanks for watching everyone. And um, I'm glad um, you guys come along. And for those who will watch it later, um, tell me what you think in the comments. Painting into the light here at Terrigal. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Thanks, mate. Catch you later. Cheers.